Well, in prison, uh, you try to do one hour first, and then you try to do 24 hours, and then seven days, and a month, and a year. Uh, but I think if you're caught in a net, the more you struggle, the more entangled you are going to get. Well, I want to go back tomorrow. Uh, um, as soon as the situation improves, um, I would like uh, the president um, uh, to, to uh, come out uh, and free all the political prisoners. Can I ask you about sanctions? Because your lawyers have won support for a US congressional resolution calling for sanctions. Do you support targeted sanctions? Well, we, we want um, people who are abusing human rights in the Maldives to be banned from traveling to other countries. Their uh, assets and, and their, fi their funds to be held until they relent. Uh, most of these people have quite substantial amount of funds abroad. I think it's very difficult to predict what may or may not happen in the future, but just to clarify also the UN Working Group's opinion, we are very well aware of it. And the government yeah, it's pretty damning, isn't it? It says it's, it's an unfair it's, trial and therefore the man shouldn't be in prison. So my, my, question is not about, my, my question is not about the rights and wrongs of that, but whether you would expect a man who thinks he's in prison with no justification at all to actually come back into prison. He's in prison to serve time for Yeah, but are you expecting him to come back? You said you don't have an opinion on it. You must have an opinion on it. at his appeal at the moment and it is in his interest to return to see that his rights are respected.